Hi. Welcome to this week's episode of Fashion Photo Review. <laughs> While Raj is brushing her hair, I will be tooting and booting the fashions <laughs> from the main stage of season seven of <laughs> This week we'll be discussing the looks on the runway for episode three where the theme was Beard Queen. There, it's Matthew Anderson inspired, so yes. this should be fun. If it were me, I would have done Rumple Still Skin. Like, just had like one that was all crinkly and like draped behind me on the floor. Because you know, I'm really into that multi culty thing. I probably would have been more like Venice Beach about it, like with a turban and dreadlocks, like all white, like I'd been aged, but like maybe in a bikini, because she'd been on, sitting on the beach that long. And I would reek of weed. Oh, wait, that, that was do. this morning, so. <laughs> That's right now. <laughs> so let's see what the queens came up with this week. Can they pull it off? Let's go. First up, first look, very peaches and cream. I love this. It's I very Matthew. It really the hair, is. The pose. I really love the contrast of, of it. I love that there's this like, kind of old fashioned like June Cleaver kind of thing. And then with the beard, it's very, very striking. I think it looks super cool. Two. Two. I love this look. I love a little bit of Harlequin bearded bitch. I, that's, yeah. I, I like it. I like the, the rust tones and the reds and the warm tones. I just love the way the, the patchwork and the symmetry of it. I think it goes great with the hair color. The beard is perfect. The tights, the shoes, the nails, yeah. everything. I two. love it. Two. Definitely two. Now, I, what do you think? I could barely even see the beard. There's a lot going on on this costume. But I see the beard a little bit, and the beard is darker, which is kind of true to life, because sometimes your hair is one color and your facial hair is a whole other color. I don't know. The contrast is a little funny to me. But I like the outfit. I think she looks good. <laughs> what do the kids say these Cool days? or not? Cool or not. There you go. It's cute. Okay, it's cute. Cute. Two. Two. Yes, I, love, I love this. I mean, it kind of is almost like a direct copy of Matthew. I like the way that bow is around the neck is really lovely. I like the shine, the garter belts look really wonderful. It's very sexy. And I feel like if you're gonna wear an afro, you don't need to wear it in a, just a big ball. Part that shit, put a little fascinator in there. Make it yes. fun. Now, are you upset that the beard doesn't match the hair on this one? No, I think it's cool. I think it's got like a really funny kind of snaky kind of thing to it. It's all like in the it's same. construction paper. Yeah, I love it. It reminds me a lot of my friend Ryan Burke, who's an amazing makeup artist, and he does this kind of gluey thing to the face. I think it's brilliant. I think this is one of the most the coolest looks that's on the So record. far? Yeah, I totally toot this. Two. Fucking fierce. I like this. It gives me more like a circus bearded lady. You know, it's a very glamorous woman. It's, it doesn't look like a drag queen with a beard, it looks like. It looks like a drag queen who forgot to shave. And it doesn't look like it's like it's intentionally placed. What do you think of that dress? I, I, oh, I like it. I, I like the fur. The fur is really excellent. It looks like it all fits her really nicely. So it, as much as I want to say otherwise, I'm going to go ahead and toot this. I like this look. I think she looks fantastic. Yeah. I give it a boot. Yeah. I think it's boring because you're a horrible cunt. I am. And you're jealous and you don't know that dress yourself, so. Tweet me. Boot. I don't love this. I don't even know why. I don't even need to see the face. I think it's just, I think it's remedial. It's 1989 Imperial Court, you know? And I'm just really not that excited about it. I know it probably- I think the hair's fun. Sure. But I would have I mean, gone all out with the rest of the costume with yeah. that hair and maybe done like a beard that was half white and half black. Like, yeah, see, that's a great idea. Do like a checker effect. But yeah. you know, this, this person probably isn't really that creative to think that far. And it's one of those so. cheap sequin clean robes. It's just cheap. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm not really excited about this. I'm gonna give this one a boot. Give me. Okay. It's that same formulaic idea of a lycra dress and the corset. Yeah. And the big lump of hair. Yeah. I like the corset. I think the corset's great. I think the, the print of this lycra dress is what really bothers me. It looks like one of my grandmother's pot holders when I first moved here to the US in 1982. I was, it was like she lived in the, like a, no girl, like a, like a, <laughs> like a Dutch oven. Like it holds a Dutch oven. I'll you know? give you a Dutch oven. Oh, <laughs> Stop. 
<laughs> like I just feel, and I'm gonna say this, and I know it's just my opinion, but when I look at bearded queens, I look at queens like Matthew Anderson, I look at Grace Towers, I look at these queens that when everything else is just so fierce, yeah. you forget, oh, they have a beard. Mm -hmm. It looks Boom. like if she showed up at the club, you'd be like, girl? What Why happened? you got that beard on? Yeah. It just does not look right. It's not like, oh, look at her with the beard. It's like, oh, no. I forgot to trim your nose hairs, girl. <laughs> cool, your, no your nose hairs are turning into a beard. It's bad. I'm not really, I'm not excited. Yeah! You see this? No. No? Look at the beard. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Okay, it it's looks exciting. like she took a piece of charcoal, crushed it up, and went like this on her face. Like, I, everything else is fucking gorgeous. Yeah. The dress, the hair, the jewelry, the gloves, the pose, I mean, I love it. Uh, yeah. But the beard, I mean. She looks like she face planted in wet cement. The look gets a two. But yeah. the beard, that's a boot that is lazy and you should have actually worn a fucking Beard. And so, could you imagine that hair silhouetted into a beard where it just kind of Oh yeah. That would be fucking gorgeous. Totally. I just think it I think it looks like she was a little scared to really go there with it. Well so. guess what? When you sign up for RuPaul's Drag Race, you are gonna you are told, we all get the email, you have to be prepared and ready to do anything. So if you're scared to do this, you know, better luck next time. Cool or not. But that gown, <laughs> bitch, that gown. The uh, gown is everything. Wrong challenge, though. Wrong fucking challenge. Yeah. Uh, um, I, this, this, this is, is a fucking toot. <laughs> this is, you think? I fucking love it. It is Why? so out in left field, because it's not right. She's got fucking wings on her head. I see what you see. And she I has do. one of the biggest beards. I mean, Jesus Christ himself. Maybe she, that's what she's doing. She's silhouetting our Lord and Savior. Like, this is beautiful. The beard length is wonderful, but the headdress really throws me off. It's like, it's one of those things where it just needed one thing to be edited. I live. Do you live? I live. I don't live at all. I'm gonna live. Mm -hmm. I'm not living or loving, so I don't. You're not living for mm -hmm. there? Boo for her. Boo. Girl. Toot. 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 <laughs> This it is, is brilliant. It's very Madonna. Um, what tour was it? You know, Die Another Day. That that video. I love this. This is gorgeous. Surrealist Salvador Dali, Colonel Sanders mustache and beard is exquisite. It looks like oh, it's great. I love this. Two. Two. Dare I say that this person sort of teeters along the fence of masculine and feminine. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> this, <laughs> this is brilliant. Oh my God. I mean, it's like a $5 bill, isn't it? Yeah. It's like, it, she's that expensive. Yeah. This is I, fun. I think it's funny. I think it makes sense because you're taking an iconic beard and just putting it on yourself. I think it's pretty cool. I think it's I, I, I want to see what the face looks like. Me too. I think if they did like that sunken in, like high cheekbone looking, I mean, I just, I wish the jacket fit the, a Yeah, better. the jacket is ill-fitting. The jacket is a, definitely a man's jacket. I think it needs a little bit of like a dart in the front or maybe something in the back to pull it yeah. together. I think it's funny. I, I give it a two. It made me LOL, so yeah. I give it a complete two. I love this. Being very creative and bringing Abe Lincoln to the stage of RuPaul's Drag Race. Four toots <laughs> and seven toots ago. <laughs> okay. Um, Fu Manchu. Fu Manchu. I, you know, it's an interesting look. The hair is really what's interesting to me. I can't take my eyes off of that hair. I mean, I like it. It's fun. Yeah, I'm going to toot it. I it gets really a two because be... it's pretty safe. And I, I love the hair and the beard. I'm not happy with this part. Like this kind of to me looks. It just blends into the dress. Maybe with 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 all the different like geometric ideas of the of the hair and the and the shape, maybe could have been braided or something. It just kind of looks like stick on to me. Anyway, I can't really complain that much. I'm gonna give it a two. Our top two of the week is this bitch. Oh my god, the beard, the stuff, the geometric shapes, and the really interesting use of the concept of beard make this bitch sickening. I love it. And the little fat, oh god. Trend alert! Yes, beards facial and hair. facial hair. It's double. Mustache riding. Facial hair or not? <laughs> <laughs> facial, facial hair or not? Cool or not? Facial hair or not? Don't forget to subscribe to WOW Presents!
Did you hear the news? RuPaul's DragCon is the first ever drag convention in history. Go to RuPaul'sDragCon.com for tickets and all the tea you need to know.